Okay, welcome back. Now, in this last section, what we're going to do is uh, take just a little time to look at a handful of enhancements that were added in the 9.5 upgrade. And for the most part, they're um, streamlining uh, and uh, cosmetic changes. There are a handful of new functions. And um, we're going to spend most of our time in this last chunk looking at the, uh, the addition of the uh, wavelet view to the spectrum editor. That's probably the most significant, most uh, useful change. Uh, and then we'll walk through the upgrades to the uh, restore rig. They've, well, they've, they've added the, res the restoration tools into uh, a dedicated suite like master rig called restore rig. We'll walk through that. Um, we'll look at the uh, tweaks that they've made to the, um, to the various plugins and so forth. The uh, fact that they've put all of the spectrum editing tools into a, um, a dedicated window instead of the, uh, the, the floating uh, tool windows that we've had previously. Uh, and then a couple of kind of gee whiz things. There's visual watermarking for your waveforms for copyright protection and so forth. Um, you can also uh, do an audio watermark. So if you're doing like a loop library and that sort of thing, you can, or demos of your material, you can, you can put a, a repeating tone or a repeating uh, copyright in there so that they don't just get snagged. Uh, they added a, um, a sensor generator. So you, single touch, you can add the, the bleep for uh, curse words. I think that says something about the state of society in general today. But uh, And the last thing is uh, they've added a, a DDP player, which is almost quaint. A DDP player lets you, uh, we'll look at that in the final chapter, but that lets you uh, do sort of a real-time check of the, uh, the disk image for a CD burn uh, up front. So uh, those are the, the biggest changes. We're going to get into each of those uh, one by one and get you all caught up to 9.5.